Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a very simple portcullis gate, or you could call it a castle gate. Now, I'm actually going to be moving worlds, but I'll get into that. You'll see what I mean by that. But let's go ahead and open up our gates. So I'll click this button, and this is why I'm going to be moving worlds. For some reason, somehow, I built something that made my pistons lag. But as you can see, the gate opened up perfectly. We can go ahead and walk inside, click the button again, and it will close up. And I don't know what I built that screwed up everything. <laughs> but if we want to lock it too from the inside, we just got to click down this lever and the gate will now be locked. As you can see, it will not open up. But once I flip up this lever, the gate should open up once again. And oh my goodness, what did I build in my world that made my pistons do that? As you can see, I'm not lagging. Everything's fine on my end. I'm not lagging. Everything looks good. Just when the pistons extend and retract, it looks terrible. I don't know what I built. <laughs> I've been spending the past day just blowing up stuff, trying to figure out what I built that screwed them up. But we're going to go ahead and move over to my new redstone world and get started up on this tutorial. All right, guys, so here we are in my new redstone world. And just to show you that the pistons are working fine on this thing, if I click the button, it will close the gate. See, everything looks beautiful now. The pistons aren't lagging. And when I click it, it opens up and here's all the redstone behind it as you can see this thing is fairly small there's nothing really to it and you only have to dig down four now of course you don't only have to go out five blocks this thing can expand up to 13 blocks and you can use whatever blocks you want for the gate you do not have to use iron bars you can use fences you can use normal blocks you can use glass it's completely up to you all right guys so for this build we're going to need a 17 by 5 spacing and we're also going to have to dig down four now you don't have to go out 17 if you're not going to make the gate go as far as you can possibly get it to go for this tutorial i'm just going to be showing up to five with it so now the resources we're going to need for this build are right inside this chest so these are just giving a heads up these are droppers right here because we are going to be making a hopper dropper t flip-flop and this wind shovel is just going to be our non-stackable i'm going into it and just like all my other tutorials these are just going to be are building blocks now if you're going to expand this thing all the way to the end cap you're going to need way more sticky pistons pistons but we'll get into that later so once you gathered up your resources and you've dug out your area come to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to count over five blocks one two three four five then count up three one two three and right here is where our gate's going to be going so now we're going to place in a line of five sticky pistons going to the right so one two three four five do it one more time, one, two, three, four, five, and yet again, another five, and then place your block of choice right on top of it, because you will be able to see it. As you can see, we are completely flush to the floor. Next up, we're gonna take out our observer blocks, come right down here, and then two blocks away from the second sticky piston, so the ones right in the middle, we're gonna place observer blocks facing downward. So you are going to dig down one more just to get those observer blocks in their downward position. So it's going to be two blocks from the surface right here. And we're going to place observer blocks facing downwards just like that off the second row of sticky pistons. So one more observer right here. And there we have it. As you can see, it is one block away from the middle one and they're all facing down. Make sure that arrow is facing down. You should be able to see these little red dots right at the bottom. Next up, we're going to take out our observer blocks once again, and we're just going to place them going into the side of these pistons right off of these observer blocks. So come right next to them and just place an observer block facing towards it. You'll know it will face it towards it when you hear the sticky piston go off, and that little arrow should be facing towards your sticky piston. And do that for each one. So one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And then on top of all of these observer blocks that are facing towards us, we're going to take out some redstone and place redstone on top of all of them. That'll make your sticky pistons go off once again. But here, so we're going to swing to this side and we're going to place a line of redstone going down this entire area on the bottom sticky pistons and then come out two more right here. And now right above this piece of redstone, we have to place an observer block facing downwards into it. So yet again, we're going to have to dig out just one block and then place an observer block facing downwards towards that redstone. It should make your bottom sticky pistons extend. As you just heard, they all extended, pushing them up right there. Then right on top of this observer block, we're going to place a repeater to make it extend again, and then set it to two ticks delay. And yet again, it'll make it extend because every time you update something in front of the observer block, it will make it tick. So then we're going to take out our slabs and place in a line of slabs right in front of that repeater and then place redstone on top of all the slabs going right into that repeater. Next, come out a block from this repeater, a block over, and place down two pieces of redstone, and then go that way with three blocks. So one, two, three, take out your repeaters. Once again, place three repeaters down and set them all to four ticks delay. Then on this side, we're gonna place another observer block coming out of that four tick delay repeater with a block in front of it and redstone hooking into that slab. 
Next, we're going to swing back over here and just make a line of blocks going over to this observer block. So just come over and hook these two together. Then we're going to place a repeater going into this redstone that has our first observer block on two ticks delay. And then we're going to place another repeater here and set it to three ticks delay with a block in front of it and redstone right behind it. Next up, take out your sticky pistons and place in a line of sticky pistons right on top of these observer blocks. And then we're going to place observer blocks going into those sticky pistons. And now we're going to have to place a line of observer blocks on here. So right now we can't really do that. So what I like to do is just take out my button and click it here. And that will pull those sticky pistons back down. And then we can go ahead and take out our observer blocks and face them towards the inside just like that. And that should be the whole entire bottom part done. So now if we move our button to over here and click it, it should fully extend up and retract. So click the button. I see it fully extended up. And then it fully retract. I'll do it one more time. We click the button, fully extends up, and fully retracts. Now, all we have to do is make the top part. So, this is completely up to you, whatever you want to use your fence gate out of. Like I said, you can use glass, you can use iron bars, you can use fences. You won't be able to see any of the pistons, so go nuts with it. So, I'm just going to be using iron bars. So, we're going to place in three lines of iron bars. So, one, two, and three like that. Then we're going to take out our block of choice once again. You will be able to see it and place them right along the tops of our iron bars. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our normal pistons. So let's get out our normal pistons right here. And let's also take out a different block to place our redstone down on. So I'll make this one the green circuit. So let's go ahead and put that there. And we're just going to place in three rows of pistons facing downwards into this block. So just come up four blocks. One, two, three, four. Break these three out. Take out your pistons and then just face them down towards the gate. So one two, three, four, five, just like that. So as you can see, they're all facing towards our gate. And we're going to do another line. One, two, three, four, five. And yet again, one more. One, two, three, four, and five. And then break this top block. And as you can see right now, it is closed. So now to do the redstone for these top ones, all we're going to do is just click our button right here one time. And that will push it up, letting us know exactly where these pistons need to be. That's why I did it this way. So then we don't, you know, have to make it and figure out how to do it. And as you can see, the gate is completely open. We can walk right through it. So now let's go up here and add the redstone to these pistons to push our gate back down. So to start off, we're going to place a line of redstone right off the top piston. And then we're going to come to the side that has, you know, all our repeaters and stuff, because this is where everything's going to be hooking together. We're just going to place a block off the side right here with a repeater on one tick. Then we're going to take out our observer blocks and off the right hand side, we're going to place an observer block facing downwards. And then a line of blocks right here, one, two, three, four, five, and place redstone along all of them. And then right on top of this observer block, we're going to place a repeater on one tick delay. It will make those pistons extend. Next up, we're going to come to this side and place down a line of three observers. So one, two, three, come down a block. You will be able to see these blocks when the gate opens up. So make sure you're using a block of choice here. And then go ahead and just place redstone along all those blocks. Then on top of this observer block, we're going to place a repeater on two ticks delay. So one tick and two tick. And that's the whole top part. So if we come over here and just place a button in just to test it out. So place a button right here. Click the button. As you can see, the gate completely closes. And then when we click the button down here, the gate will completely open up. There we go. So now all we have to do is just hook these two together off of our T flip-flop, and then everything should be working fine. So for right now, just make sure your gate is closed. This will just make it a tiny bit easier. And we're going to go ahead and place in our button. So just come up a block here. I'm going to be using some chiseled stone bricks here. And we're going to place our wooden button off the side of this block. Make sure they are wooden. You cannot use stone here because we need a longer pulse. So we're going to come over here and place in another wooden button on this side as well. And now we have to hook these two buttons together. So just giving a heads up, this is the inside of your gate right here. And this side with the observer blocks is the outside of your gate. So now we're going to come over here. And on the inside is where we're going to be placing in our hopper dropper T flip flop. So let's go ahead and take out our droppers. And let's also go ahead and take out our hoppers. We're also going to need a redstone comparator. And we're also going to need our item that is non-stackable. I'm just going to be using a wooden shovel. So let's go ahead and get rid of those blocks right there. So our hopper dropper T flip flop is going to be going near the button that's on the inside. The inside should not have the observer blocks on them. So go ahead and take out your droppers. We're going to swing to this side right here. And right off the top of this redstone that has our two tick delay repeater, we're going to place a dropper facing up. And we're going to take another dropper and face it inwards towards this three tick. Place a dropper in front of this dropper facing downwards. Then take out your hopper and just place your hopper going into that bottom dropper right there. And that will make our hopper dropper T flip flop. 
we can go ahead and place our item inside of it. So make sure it is a non-stackable item. I'm just going to be using a wooden shovel. Then we're going to place redstone right on top of this dropper. Come up a block, down a block, and then place redstone along both of them. Next up, coming out of this block right here, we're going to place a repeater on four ticks away. So just come down a block, take out a repeater, and place it coming out of that redstone and set it to four ticks delay. Then we're gonna come down a block from here with a piece of redstone. Don't worry, these will connect later. And then we're gonna come down again, another block and another block, placing redstone along all these blocks. We can go ahead and remove this wooden button now. Place a block here with a repeater going into it on one tick delay. Next up off the side of this dropper right here, we're gonna place a block in. And then coming out of this dropper, we're going to place our redstone comparator. So right now it is on because we have our item in there. But when we click the button right here, as you can see, it will turn off the comparator. And then when I click the button again, it will turn on the comparator. So for now, since our gate is closed, make sure this comparator is off for now. So let's go ahead and click the button and it will turn our comparator off. Next, place a block in front of your comparator with a piece of redstone on top of it. Come up a block and place yet again another piece of redstone. Next, take out a sticky piston and off the redstone, we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards. So right off that redstone right there, we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards with a block in front of it. Next up, go ahead and take out your redstone torches. So let me quickly go ahead and grab those like that. There we go. And we're going to make a torch ladder going up to here off of this sticky piston. So place a redstone torch on top of it, a block, redstone torch, block, redstone torch, again, block, redstone torch block there we go and a redstone torch off the side of it like that and now all we have to do is just hook in a line of redstone to this repeater so one two three and there we go the gate has closed up and now when i click this button the gate should open up so when i click the button the gate opens up perfect so right here is going to be the ceiling so now we can go ahead and fill in with our blocks of choice on the ceiling so i'm just going to use stone brick so let's go like this and just wrap it around it you can fill in your gate with whatever blocks you're using. I'm just going to use stone brick. There we go. And then we can just go ahead and wrap it around this. I like to keep everything looking the same, though, or else it will kill my mind. There we go. I place a block here. Place a block here. And then, of course, you can fill it in with whatever you want here. I like to fill it in with some sea lanterns or glowstone because then it will give light to the gate when it's opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in this area with sea lanterns as well. And there we go. So now the gate is completely done. So when I click the button... It will close, and then when I click the button again, it will open up the entire gate, and that's what it looks like on the inside. Looks pretty good, and then now we can add in, well, it's not completely done yet. We can add in that lockout switch, so now we're going to take out our lever. Did I put a lever in here? Pretty sure I did. Yep, there it is. So, so let's go ahead and put in our lockout switch. So right here, we're just going to place in a lever right there on top of that button. Place a piece of redstone off of that lever. Then we're just going to come out a block. And place in two pieces of redstone. Next up, take out your sticky pistons and place it right off that redstone facing downwards with a block in front of it. And now what that will do is once we close the gate, let's go ahead and close it up real quick. So click the button, close the gate. When we click down this lever, it will cut off the redstone, making it so we cannot open and close the gate. So see, when I click it, then now the repeater just goes into nothing. Let's do it again. Repeater goes into nothing. And when I flip up the lever, it will now work. And that's how the whole lockout switch completely works. So now we can clean it up and I'll also show how to expand it as well. So let me go ahead and remove these blocks right here just so I can show you how to expand it. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like putting more observer blocks here just so it matches this side. These observer blocks will do absolutely nothing. It's just to make it look nice on the inside. You know, it kind of stinks when you just have one set of observer blocks going that way and then just have normal blocks and it just makes it look ugly. So I like to just place these extra ones here just so it looks nice. So now let's go ahead and expand it out. Now, like I said, it can go up to 13 blocks. We already did five, so that means we could do eight more. So before we start with our sticky pistons, I like to put in these observer blocks first because it's going to be harder to get to these later on. So let's go ahead and just put our observer blocks that are facing downwards right here. Let's break out these blocks right here and just place in our observer blocks that face down. All you have to do is just follow right along. Nothing changes. You just follow the exact same motion that you did over here. Then we're going to place our observer blocks that face inwards off of those ones like that. Take out our sticky pistons and face sticky pistons facing upwards right here. With yet again another line of observer blocks. Now you can use redstone lamps here. The reason why I used extra observer blocks here is just if you have a ton of stuff in your world and there's a lot of lag, it will sometimes make the uh, redstone lamps not update the observer 
the observer blocks at the same time, making the gate look all wompy. So that's why I use observer blocks there. So now we just have to fill in our sticky pistons here. So one, two, three, come up. One, two, three, we can go out eight blocks. Like I said, it can go up to a total of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, it fits the uh, 17 perfectly. Place in all of our sticky pistons, take out our block of choice, place those all on top of it. Then just bring out this line of redstone right here, all the way down to the end. Take out our slabs and just place slabs going all the way down to the end. Again, redstone all the way down to the end. And that should be it for the entire bottom one. So now when I click the button, the gate will close, obviously. There we go. And then when I click the button again, it should all go up. So boom, boom, boom. And as you can see, it goes up to 13 blocks. So now all we have to do is just fill in the top area. And this one's a lot easier than that bottom one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right there there we go perfect and then just fill in the rest and fill in the rest and then place in our blocks of choice right in front of those there we go now we just have to place in our redstone line so just bring this line going all the way down place redstone going on all the blocks place our redstone on top of every single one of these come on to this side as well and we're going to come out with our blocks of choice over here as well with a line of redstone there we go and then just take out your gate. So we're going to go with our iron bars once again. So one, two, and that, 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 that. I hate placing in iron bars. I really hate placing in iron bars. So there we have it. So now that should be the entire gate that will close up. So when I click this button, the gate fully goes down. And then when I click the button again, the gate will fully go up. And now all you have to do is just, you know, clean up the area, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a simple poor color skate inside of Minecraft or Castle Gate, whatever you want to call it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell because I am uploading on the daily right now. All right, guys, let me go ahead and try to do this without my cursor. There we go. <laughs> oh, it is so laggy. Oh, it is so laggy. <laughs> Peace.